In the midst of the ongoing protests over the rape and killing of a medical student at the government-run Arjikor Medical College in Kolkata, junior physicians at West Bengal state-run hospitals maintained their strike on Wednesday in protest of the atrocities that happened around the city. After more than three weeks of cease work, health services at the majority of state-run hospitals continued to be impacted. Deep Ghosh, former principal of Arjikor Medical College and Hospital, on Wednesday moved the Supreme Court, challenging the Calcutta High Court order of transferring the corruption case against him to the Central Bureau of Investigation. Sandeep Ghosh filed a petition in the Apex Court saying that the Calcutta High Court did not listen to his side while ordering a CBI investigation in the corruption case against him. The directive followed a petition filed by Dr. Raktar Ali, a former deputy superintendent of the hospital, asking the enforcement directorate to look into the several allegations of financial misbehavior at the state-run institute under the previous principal's administration. A woman was molested during a party at a renowned five-star hotel in Kolkata on Tuesday night. The police have arrested two individuals in connection with the incident, one of whom is a resident of Delhi. The arrests were followed a complaint filed by the victim. An FIR has also been registered and an investigation is currently underway. This incident occurred the same day a significant legislative development were proceeded regarding rape after the horrific incident of rape and murder of a medical student in Arjuna. Medical College and Hospital in Kolkata. Rituparna Sengupta, a Bengali actress who was recently harassed for a protest video she uploaded, was heckled yesterday while attending the Reclaim the Night protest march. Film industry celebrities who had up until now supported the demonstrations against the rape murder of a young doctor at a local hospital yesterday night have harshly criticized videos of the go-back shouts and the crowd's subsequent beating of a car. One of the main protest locations, Sham Bazaar, in North Kolkata had been hostile towards Ms. Sengupta when she arrived. She heard irate demonstrators yelling at her to go back as she tried to speak to the assembly. The police and Ms. Sengupta's security escorted her to her car as the situation worsened. The father of the doctor from Kolkata, who was raped and killed inside the Arjikur Medical College and Hospital, had stated that he was compelled to cremate his daughter even though he wanted to save her body. The victim's parents also claimed that the police had made financial offers to them. After they got back home with her dead, the doctor's father told reporters that 300 to 400 police officers surrounded them. There was a lot of pressure put on the physique, even though we wanted it preserved. We were encircled by between 300 and 400 police officers. When we got home, there were about 300 police officers waiting outside. We had to cremate her because of the circumstances they created. As a part of the Reclaim the Night campaign, hundreds of thousands of women from West Bengal marched on Wednesday at midnight in support of the 31-year-old woman trainee doctor who was illegally raped and killed on August 9th at Kolkata's Arjikor Medical College and Hospital. However, there was violence in Mathabhanga town during the Reclaim the Night campaign after a protester was illegally attacked by TMC members. Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has been urged by West Bengal Governor C.V. Anand Bose to take convincing steps to assuage the sentiments of the people who are furious about the Arjikor Hospital rape murder case.